How do internets? I'm here with my awesome Dell Inspiron Mini 10. Uh, first of all, apologies for the film quality. It was recorded in widescreen, but converted it to normal, so everything looks square. Uh, netbooks have been around for a few years now, and let's be honest, they weren't very good. They had naff all hard drive space, minute screens, and came with Linux. As you can see here, it's very minimalistic. You've got power, three USB ports, an SD slot, VGA out, headphones, blah, 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 blah. Very minimalistic, very basic. Well, the most obvious thing to mention is the size. It really isn't that bigger than a book, and it's light as anything. This is definitely what laptops should have always been like. Uh, if you feel you can install OS X onto it as well, it becomes the delightfully named Hackintosh. I see what you did there. Any hoodly doodle, let's fire this thing up. Here we go. And the start time is... One minute thirty six point nine seconds. Not bad, but sometimes it does better. I got one minute five on a different time. Uh as you can see I've already customized this a bit. When you first boot up you have the standard disgusting green and blue XP theme and the, what am I doing with that? Come on, put it down. Put it down you silly bastard. It just it there. Yeah. You have the disgusting blue and green XP theme and the font and icon sizes are all over the shop. So I highly recommend downloading Replacer and UX theme to sort it out. And uh, I'm using a theme called Hydrongia, which I'll give you the link for later on. Uh, I've got a couple of programs installed already. Um question usually asked is, can these things handle games? Well, I've got ScumVM already installed so I can play the classic old LucasArts games uh, got from a website called myabandonware.com which I'll link later as well uh, get a bit of Monkey Island 2 going you can if you want play uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 if you keep it at 16-bit colour but it lags a bit very slightly this is me playing Doom being really really crap at it Oh, wrong button pressed. Sorry. Got the armor. Come on. Kill some bastards. Look at them. Oh, good. Fucking dead. Yeah. Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, you want some as well, you little bastard. There you go. That's me pressing the wrong button again. I'm crap at this. But yeah. playing games is all right if you stick to the old stuff. You won't play Crisis by any means of the imagination. But oh, hang on, watch this. Oh, bang! Oh, fuck you as well. Uh, yeah, Counter Strike 1.6 is about as much as you'll push it. Uh, let's see what else we got. Fubar 2000 for music playing as it doesn't eat up RAM like everything else does. I also got rid of uh, the pre-installed shite like McAfee as it's crap. Got Firefox for browsing as well. The screen's nice and wide so you rarely have to scroll sideways for anything. And if you're on YouTube the more HD videos will chug a bit, but you can always turn that off. What else we got? Uh, you can handle videos very well as well. Get a bit of anime going. There we are. Yeah. Full screen and everything. Oh, not sure we should be looking at that. Very pretty. The flowers, I mean, not the preteen. And is she preteen? I'm not sure, I don't pay attention. Uh, what else we got? Ah, yeah, the keyboard is an absolute dream to use. It's lovely and evenly spaced, and it has this proper clicky responsiveness that I absolutely adore. 
Uh, the screen's a respectable 1024 by 600, which for browsing and doing a bit of typing up on is fine and dandy, but it gets a bit arsey over little things, particularly game resolutions. Don't know why I started typing here, you can't read that. I don't actually remember what I typed, I didn't save it. A few niggly things about the Mini 10. The touchpad has the left and right click built into it, and if you have your finger resting on the click like I do there, uh, it just stops the cursor dead in its tracks. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it takes a bit of getting used to, but I've never liked touchpads anyway. I always recommend getting a mouse for these things. And uh, I'm not sure whether this applies to our folks across the pond, but the plug you get with it is massive. You don't get the brick in the middle, but I don't know whether it bothers you or not. Anyway, all in all, if you want a laptop that just browses websites and plays music, I recommend it. Hey.